Saturday morning, nine o'clock. I'm still lying in my bed because I don't know when I went to bed, not too late, 11, 11 30, something like that. But I woke up again th at 3 30 and uh, my head was full of ideas for uh, for a music video for the first single. And you know what I do? I just you know, roll over, turn on the bed light, side light, and just scribble some shit down and try to get back to sleep. But it didn't work. <laughs> My brain was just going like, oh, and then you could do this, and then you could do this. And then, some of those were terrible ideas, and you know, you know how it is. But uh, uh, my brain even started, you know, giving me ideas. Okay, if this is six meter wide, then you could shoot it like that. And maybe you need to have the, what do you call those? Like the fake walls built with these kind of things. And, and, and I don't know. I don't know what was going on. So at some point when it was clear that I couldn't go back to sleep, I just took off the laptop, I took the laptop from the from the next room and I wrote like a one page script. And uh, yeah, and then I could sleep for another, I don't know, maybe I went to bed, bed. <laughs> Jesus, my brain. I went back to sleep at maybe 5.30 or something. Um, so I slept till nine o'clock and uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get up again right now. Um, the other thing that I finally got used to was the fact that um, uh, in current music lingo, hard means good. So if someone said this beat is fucking hard, it could be the softest beat ever, but it, it means it's a good beat. And um, this is another thing where I was, you know, I was hearing that being said for months now. And um, the being like a, an old guy who, who, who likes the way the language was, because that's the way I, I used it, the language in my life. Um, I, I was obviously thinking, ah, oh, this is stupid. Now it, you know, removes one more way of describing what uh, is would be a correct description, because you know it's not a fucking hard beat if it's a soft beat. No, it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, um, this week I got used to it because I mean, first of all, uh, language is not what I want it to be. Language is what it is. And um, there's really no point in not understanding what people are saying simply because I don't want to understand it. So uh, uh, the new Faderhead album will be the hardest album ever. And uh, it will also be the hardest album ever. Uh, you know where the problem is right there, but it's true. Both is true. Wednesday morning, uh, 7.30. I... Didn't uh, do much on the new album over the past few days, simply because, you know, I kind of got done with most of the stuff, um, writing-wise. And uh, sometimes you just have to leave it for a few days so you can get some distance. Um, yesterday I started doing some revisions. So what I did was during my training uh, gym session when I was, you know, training in the morning... I just put the uh, all the songs on and just listened to them on my headphones without consciously listening to them. So I was training, obviously, so my focus was on the training and the music was just in my background mind. And uh, that's very, very important because anytime I noticed something, um, that's when I took out my phone and made a little note saying, okay, on this song, this and this is not great yet, or I should fix this and that, um, which gave me a few notes that I started working on yesterday, and everything um, just got a little step better. And I think uh, that is one of the ways to um, constantly make your songs better, and that is by not thinking that they're done until they're done. 
I mean, uh, it's it sounds very. How do you say that? It sounds very uh, uh, obvious, but you'd be surprised by how many people um, make music and then they they finish the track and they have no more ideas and they leave it and they sit back down and they consciously listen to it and they they look for something to f change or to add while they focus on the track and i think that is not the smartest way to go about it you can do that but you should also um, um listen to the songs while you're doing something else because you will notice um you will notice different things than when you listen in a focused way when you listen in a focused way your attention is scattered all over the track when you are not listening in a focused way you will notice the big picture things it's like big picture and uh detail listening and big picture thinking and listening is much more important than the details music producers and songwriters they always focus too much on the details and the listeners only focus on the big picture if it's a dance track the only thing the listener really cares about is is the groove good is the kick drum hard hitting or whatever it is um can i shake my ass to this and maybe can i sing along or whatever is it hooky is does it stick in my head uh if it's a, a pop track it's only about the vocal is it a good lyric is it a sing-along melody um you know what, what i'm saying and um this kind of listening only not only but it really works when you're not paying attention too much to the music so when when i was listening to i don't know 14 songs in a row and it was very interesting to notice that my brain started paying attention to some songs more than others and um that is a very helpful way of figuring out what uh, needs to be done. So that was what I did yesterday, and I fixed a few little things. Um, not not too much. One of the songs got uh, noticeably better, and I think one I deleted. I think I'm down from 20 to 18 songs right now, because uh, that was also one of the things that... Um, when you listen to tracks on their own, you think, oh, this is a good song. But later, in context with 20 others, you notice that two or three songs just don't cut it, even though you might like them when you listen to them on, on their own. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think I'm going to cut it down to maybe 17 songs or something like that. But uh, that's still more than enough. Fadercast. Wednesday, 3.30 in the afternoon. I, what did I do? Um, yeah, today I went through what I had, all the songs, and um, my idea is to have the album, which shouldn't be 20 songs long or something like that. It should be 13, maybe. Um, and then have an EP. And I also want bonus tracks. So what I want to do is uh, have at least two or three bonus tracks for the Bandcamp buyers that will only be on the Bandcamp thing and on the Kickstarter. And then there's going to be an EP that will have like bunker techno, dark techno, dark electro EVM um, uh, songs, maybe five or something, four or five, which will be will only be available for Kickstarter backers as a physical uh, physical EP and then I think what I'm going to do is um, that when the album comes out everywhere like physical and streaming which is 15th or 14th or something like that of January next year then I will uh, what, what do I want to do then I will release the EP maybe I don't know five months four or five months later um so but that will also be on bandcamp as ep or on streaming at that time but not as a physical release maybe uh yeah i'll, I'll think about that but so it'll be spread out 
all the Kickstarter people will get the EP way ahead of time if they want it. If they don't want it, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I had to figure that out and I had to get rid of one or two songs, maybe two or three. I don't remember exactly, but a few songs that I didn't like enough to um, to be either bonus tracks or on the EP. So I got rid of those. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm listening. I was listening to the to the album in an order that I just came up with randomly and or like randomly is not correct, but just an order that I thought would be nice and it really works. So uh, I'll keep it for that for, for now for like that and uh, we'll go from there. Wednesday, seven o'clock in the evening. I now know the name of the album, um, but I'm not sure what the artwork is going to be like because I just uh, contacted the guy who did the the Halo T-shirt, uh, which is this very metal, dark metal design. Um, if you don't know what it looks like, uh, head over to the shop and look at the Halo design. That's the one. And we'll see. I'm waiting... Uh, for him to reply oh, about the basics. Generally, the problem with, with that guy is his English is terrible and he doesn't speak German. So it's uh, going to be a hassle, but I like his designs. If you read my newsletter, I've written about this guy a, a bunch before, but he does good work. <laughs> and <laughs> the the old, uh, the old rule goes, if you are... Uh, not uh, very competent and not too expensive. You don't have to be nice uh, or a good communicator. Uh, I, we'll see. This guy, uh, I'm waiting for him to get back to me. And I will talk about the album title and uh, the artwork when that is finalized. We'll see. Fadercast. Thank you for listening to this episode of FaderCast. If you have any questions or suggestions, just email me at contact at com. You can obviously also find me on all the socials, uh, on Instagram, at FaderheadOfficial, and everywhere else under FaderHead. Please be a friend and tell a friend about this podcast. And until next time. FaderCast. Fader